in this video, I will share to you the other employees with um, MySQL database. So let's uh, run this project. Okay. So we don't have um we have a known database alter in POS. So proceed to uh I will give you the link of this uh repository. So let's download the project. Download and open your uh, workbench. Then after you download the um project here in the download let's unzip this project um, more extract here so we open then double click this instance connection uh, let's close this query then let's open the uh, repository this project this data this database double click to proceed in mysql workbench okay so this is the query if you change the database, change it in your database. As a default, this is a Aldrin PS. So let's um, copy this one because this is unconnected uh, SQL. So copy this one, copy. Then proceed to instance. Then let's uh, add SQL. So here. Then click the text. Then control B to paste the query. Then control A to select all the query. Then select this one to execute all query. Then let's see the uh, query here. There's no error. So let's uh, refresh the, the schema. So we have here um, Aldrin POS. So we can proceed to NetBeans here. Uh, let's rerun the project. So this is the connection. This is the data database, the name of the database here. Then this is the username and then this is my password of my database. So let's try to run the project. Then here, so we are uh and then we don't have uh, any error so it means that is successfully connected so let's uh log in admin then uh, admin then enter so there's no um username admin and then the uh, password admin so that that is all uppercase so let's change to uppercase admin then admin let's see then control enter then it will open to um um to the main menu so for example here in the settings we have product here for example i give you the barcode which is this rebisco cracker is one so let's assume this this is uh i think this is 12 or 16 digits but i put here one to easy to demonstrate this pos so let's close this one then let's view the stack in here so this is already it has already um 
So let's uh, view here. This is product remaining. So this is uh, snack rabisco. This is the quantity remaining, which is nine. So let's try to uh, stock out or dispense item, which is the rabisco, which is the barcode is one. Then, um, okay, three, which is the remaining quantity is nine. So let's uh, stock out this one. This is 21, so let's put here, for example, uh, 30. Then payment, yeah. So, okay. So I will include the, the um, receipt. Uh, download, stop here. This is the receipt, which is three, um, three Ribisco. And then here, after we dispense, let's see the quantity here. Oh no, this is not the quantity. Product remaining. So we have here six uh, quantity remaining because we stuck out the um, three Ribisco. Then here, and stuck, stuck out, which is the date of this uh, today. So this is, let's see, uh, preview. Uh, we stick, we stuck out the three Rebisco cracker. So let's, that is the invoice list. So then the sale of the user, which is this one today, because this uh, yesterday. So let's calculate only the sales of this day. So we have here, uh, one transaction. Let's uh, preview the report. So we have here a uh, 21 because three Rubisco, which is the total of 21. Then the sales. Okay, this is the sales. Okay, so three peso, the profit of three uh, Rubisco cracker. For example, it starts. From yesterday, it ends today. It's okay, so this is four. Uh, transaction is two. This is four. So let's uh, view the yesterday. So this is one piece of profit from yesterday. So here, uh, this is the invoice list. Okay. Review, which is one. So the stock in here, let's view, review. We have uh, 10 quantity of Remiso crackers, which is, the stock out is, uh, from yesterday is one, then today is three, the remaining is six. Uh, six. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Um, you can download this project in um i will put that this uh the link in the description so thank you for watching see you ne next video guys bye